Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, January 13th. These are the charts of the day. Uh, today, talking about some new ones and some uh, old ones, uh, ASYS, Amtech Systems, had a significant breakout today on the daily chart. Here you'll see that the nice run-up in December that took it from uh, about 5.5 up to 10.5, almost 11, doubling it, then resulted in the following uh, two-and-a-half, three-week uh, bull flag-type consolidation. A little dip to the moving average, <clears throat> yesterday and a reversal followed by the uh, slight gap up and then a strong run of 233 today or 22%. Bre breaks it out on one, one and a third million shares. Uh, as you can see from the uh, lines I've drawn in, the uh, 07 high was up around 17 three quarters. That's my trading target if it gets through the current area, which is right about the 13, 13 and a quarter out level. If you get through that, we could power ahead another four or five points over the course of the next few days. But certainly a rising type of base, acceleration in December, consolidation and breakout. <clears throat> Next up we have uh, China Agritech, which is one of the strongest Chinese stocks out there. So, as you can see, this powerful pattern has seen it run from 14 in October to um, 39 plus just a couple days ago. Now it did back off yesterday, uh, falling back to 321, but today uh, after some further downside damage, it bounced off lateral price support and the rising 10-day moving average and exploded for five points off of that to close up 226 on a day, a beautiful reversal. Now the top of the channel that I have drawn in comes in around the 41 area. <clears throat> I'd expect the possibility of a breakout above 39 and change and a move up to test the top of the channel, but this could accelerate and, and spike up into the low to mid 40s as well, the mid to high 40s, excuse me. So there you go, those are my targets. Continue care, portfolio position, which broke out two days ago, is backed and filled and formed a little mini coil or pennant. Vimes dissipated, yet the technicals have held up pretty well. I don't think this one's done yet. I'm looking for a move that takes this one towards the five and a half to six zone, five and three quarters there about on this next move. And that's my uh, target for continue care. <coughs> Old favorite co converter organics, which has gotten decimated this year, you can see from this drop, had dropped all the way down from 17 a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, to uh, get down to the current levels under a dollar. Finally reversed today on some news of a contract with Walmart. And uh, stock has recently run from 57 cents up to $1.27, more than doubling. Today in particular, though, we're pointing it out because nearly 24 million shares traded, breaking out above its lateral price resistance and declining tops line. Next target around a dollar uh, fifty-five sixty is um, doable if it gets across today's high of one twenty-seven. Cytori Therapeutics CYTX, very nice looking pattern, a little multi-mold base breakout, a rough strong run, a bull flag formed in December. The stock got a very low volume ebb towards the end of the month, and then today, and that started moving and accelerated. Four days ago, formed a two-day flag and accelerated again today, up ninety-eight cents at thirteen and a half percent. Um, on 2.2 and a quarter million shares. Top of the channel that I've drawn in comes in somewhere around the $10 range. That's my short term trading target. GPRE continues to consolidate very bullishly after the run up in November in the beautiful coil here. It broke out in late December. It is currently flagging again, bouncing back and forth between 14 and a quarter and 16.40. 16.40 was the high yesterday and last week. So a move through 1640 with volume could get us uh, a, a pretty quick spike up move that takes us up near the 1819 um, range. That's my target. But longer term, top of the channel, potentially we're looking at a stock that could be somewhere in the high 20s. <coughs> INSP InfoSpace, which a couple of days ago was highlighted and day traded, gapped up big on news, but it's been flagging for four days since on low volume with good technicals. I have a feeling that after it backed off from key resistance around 12, 1215, that it's held up very nicely. If it takes that out, it could explode into the 14, 14 and a half, maybe 15 range short term. That's my trading target. Long, longer term, if it gets through this line of resistance going way back three years, I think we have a chance of moving this one up towards the high teens. Map Pharmaceuticals, an old favorite of ours from way back when, when it capped up huge here, um, had been coiling for many months, about eight of them, before breaking out last week, 
backed off yesterday and came on again today. Um, oh, that was actually Monday when he gapped up, and then it came pulled back in the last couple sessions, but reversed a bit today, 45 cents near the end of the day. However, this is a uh, mini flag above a long base, and with the price volume surge and breakaway gap, um, I'm looking to see if this thing can plow through 13.30 and run. If it does, I would not not be surprised to see something in the high teens or maybe even as high as 8.19 or 20 near the or initial IPO all-time high up, up in that zone. MindSpeed had a strong session today. You can see the chart, of the beautiful channel has been in play for a year. Um, broke out of the coil a, a week and a half ago, flagged for five days, and today popped 88 cents or 17.5 percent on uh, over a million shares. That's big volume for that stock. Top of the channel is up around the six and a half, six and three quarters zone. That's my next trading target. And beyond that, I believe the stock has potentially get to nine, nine and a half or thereabouts. That's my trading target is at nine, secondary trading target. Seed, one of our favorites and has been for a while, particularly since this explosion. Falling wedge, breakout, five-day flag, broke out of that flag, pulled back for the last couple sessions, uh, although it did have an update today. This stock feels like it wants to go higher. The one thing you want to keep in mind is that 1457 and then 1507 in this range, that 15, 14 and a half, 15 zone is resistance, but a breakthrough 15 with volume, this thing could spike up to 18 to 20, and I'm looking for that kind of a move on it when it does get going finally. <clears throat> Skechers, which has been in a monster move all year, and you can see from 520 to over 30. Uh, that new shoe that they have apparently is selling f like hotcakes, and uh, with the chart is telling us it wants to go higher. I have a, a target around 36 um, at the top of the channel, and I'm looking for that kind of a move on it to carry forward. <clears throat> SMOD, Smart Modular, we highlighted a couple days ago. Had a beautiful flag for four days, popped out 41 cents today, almost 6% with rising volume for the last four sessions. I'm looking for Accelerate and get up towards the $10 range. And lastly is XRTX, Zeratex, current portfolio position. Love the way this one looks. Look at this tight channel. Strong volume, acceleration across key tops around 14, 30, 40 zone. Has taken it quickly to 17 or 4 today at the close up a dollar, 79 or 12% on the heaviest volume in quite a while. I'm um, looking for mid-channel test up around the 19 and a half 20 zone. That should be coming up shortly. Beyond that, possibly high 20s at the top of the channel is a target, but some lateral resistance around the 25 area before that. That's it for tonight. Have a good evening. Talk to you soon.